everyone, and welcome back to Monster of the Week. As always, I am your keeper, Shivam, and I use he and pronouns. Um, before the rest of our cast introduce themselves, I want to take a quick second to, to do a shout out here. Uh, for this session in particular, uh, I was heavily inspired uh, by, uh, by someone else and uh, the mystery they had published. Um, so I, I just wanted to take a quick second to, to shout out where I got my inspiration from. Um, I am not going to pronounce this right. Uh, Mikhail Aristov. Um, and he wrote a mystery called uh, Wrath of the Pumpkin King, and I was very heavily inspired by that for the, uh, the gimmick of this one. Uh, so just going to post that link in chat. Would highly recommend checking his content out. Uh, if you want to get into Monster of the Week, uh, honestly, Wrath of the Pumpkin King is, uh, is a very good pre-made adventure to start off with, and it's completely free. Yeah. Ooh. But, uh, I will let the rest of our lovely cast of players introduce themselves, starting from Charles. Hello, I'm Charles, or The World of Fate, on Twitch, and uh, I'm going to be playing Stanley, who goes by he, him, pronouns. And my fun fact of the week is, um, every Wednesday, Stanley cooks Pixie's favorite meal, uh, fried sweet potato chips with corn fish. <laughs> Incredible. I'm good. It's a nice broader. Mm -hmm. I am. <laughs> Izzy? Oh, hi, I'm Izzy. I will be playing Mandy. We both use she, they pronouns. Uh, and my fun fact this week is... Where is it? One of Mandy's favorite movies is Interview with a Vampire. <laughs> Very. Good. I I like how like shocked you were that I called on you. I I was distracted by Boondock. <laughs> good. <laughs> oh God. Nerd. Lyra. Yeah, I'm Lyra, and I play Susie, and we both go by she/her pronouns. And my fun fact of the week is that uh, Susie plays a lot of Minecraft. And she recreated their whole school with the mystery research club in it. Oh yeah. <laughs> oh, that's good shit. <laughs> Nemo. Hello. Oh, I'm Nemo. I uh, people, and we go both go by he him <laughs> pronouns. Uh, the fun fact for today is that every other Tuesday, people invades his neighbor's house and shaves the top of his cat's head. Uh, he does this because the neighbor once convinced his parents to shave people's hair. I... <laughs> the fun facts segment on the show, ever since we introduced it in Aluna, you have been consistent in trying to, like, <laughs> be pushing, like, the balance <laughs> of what you can do with a fun fact, huh? You're <laughs> gonna find the limit someday. <laughs> Apparently, it's not here. I think I'm just along for the ride at this point. Let's go. Oh, man. Sophie? <laughs> uh, hi, I'm Sophie. Uh, I'll be playing Pixie, and we go by she, her pronouns. And my fun fact is, Pixie doesn't like sweet potato that much. Um, she <laughs> pretends her favorite food, uh, not to offend Stanley. <laughs> the drama. Oh, my God. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Oh, that's incredible. <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness. Um, but yeah, let's go ahead and start off with uh, what happened the last time. We were sucked into a video game. There was, yep. uh, we were all chilling after what happened the first time uh, at the research club. And this lady comes over and she's like, hey, I have a thing for y'all. And we're like, okay, cool. And she gives us a DS, and she's like, it's haunted. And we're like, the fuck? Okay. So we open it, and it starts whirring and shit. And I think it was Mandy and Pixie who got sucked in? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Probably and then right. everyone else eventually got sucked in as well. And we woke up, and we were in Mario Kart. So <laughs> we were fighting what seems to be that Cyber Chase Scooby-Doo villain in Mario Kart and kicked its ass with two chain chomps and us rolling well somehow. Uh, and after we beat it, it said, this is not over. 
were like, well, that's suspicious. Um, so we took it and slept on it and then we came back and it was still haunted and we got sucked into Fire Emblem pretty much. Yep. And we kind of glitched out the game and killed it again. Yeah? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> but Indeed. before that, sorry, um, or was it before or after we talked with their parents? Before. That was before. After. At Fire some Emblem? point, we talked to her parents and we realized, hey, there's a lot of, like, self-reflection going on about being the best because, you know, a lot of uh, people of color's parents, like, especially first generation, like, Americans and whatnot, always put a lot of pressure on their kids to, like, do their absolute best in school and sports or whatever they're in. And she was obviously showing a lot of that and... Um, we were like, well, what about art? Like, she's really good at drawing. Like, it actually, this really hit home for me. So, fuck you, Shivam. <laughs> and, uh, so we were like, okay, look. Well, we convinced the principal that she can make a mural for the school to display not only to her parents, but to everybody else that she can believe in herself and make this art piece. Um, I can't remember what the deal we made was the prince with the principal. Um, I think it's making the uh, the mural by like a, a certain point in time. Okay. Uh, and then just us convincing her to actually do it. Yeah. Mm, yeah. Yeah. And then she kind of freaked out from there and got sucked into the the fire emblem world. And then we yeah. kicked his ass. Um, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> um, but yeah, no. Also, real quick, too, uh, you did mention the Scooby Dude, like the, the cyber chase thing. Legit, I have forgot about that movie for years. It was one of my favorite movies as a kid, though. How dare I can't you? can't say, me? like, this wasn't fully inspired by this in hindsight, because <laughs> that's honestly <laughs> where I could have drawn this idea from. <laughs> oh my god. But anyways, <laughs> yeah, as you guys are now uh, transported out of the uh, the Fire Emblem universe, um, you're all standing there catching your breath with Anjali, who also just looks like she has this full just weight off for her shoulders. Um, as she looks exhausted, but just still has this like big beaming smile on her face. We did. Oh, you see that, right? Um, sorry, what'd you say? <laughs> Go ahead. Izzy, did you have something here? I said we did it. I don't know what to say. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I just said you look happy. As, yeah, she says, yeah, I mean, I'm, I, I, I felt, I don't know, I guess lost for a good long time now, but... I feel kind of assured in what path I want to take now. I mean, it's not going to be easy, but I want to do everything I can to try and make it happen. And besides, I mean, can't be much worse than uh, literally fighting a dragon, right? <laughs> I mean, that does seem like a bit of a high, that's for sure. <laughs> You don't have any games in there that we have to actually fight a dragon, right? I mean, I think uh, that... have Fire Emblem. You have to fight a dragon, Fire Emblem. Mm hmm Oh. Got it. <laughs> yeah, I think we did, didn't we? Oh, did we fight a dragon? Yeah. We did fight a dragon. <laughs> oh, we did it. Okay, never mind. That was two seconds ago. <laughs> I can't remember yes. anything. <laughs> yes. Andy had empty no thoughts. Yeah. Yeah, you should, you should check yourself for early onset uh, <laughs> Alzheimer's. Maybe yeah. just a concussion, Dread, all right. <laughs> she and that's it, but that... Who knows? <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> um, but anyways, to give you guys maybe uh, a little bit of something that, um, well, thing, this like weird thing happening once, it's an anomaly. This happening twice, well, it's kind of a pattern there, huh? Can the next one be Animal Crossing? 
<laughs> God. Or maybe she could throw the right. Nintendo DS. <laughs> In the For mind. good. Yeah. <laughs> Do you think it would happen with another DS? Who knows? I, I think we did uh, experiment with that because we gave her Peepos and it still did the same oh, thing. Oh, that's right. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. So it's there. Okay, she shouldn't play anymore. <laughs> well, that's not fun, though. Quit like... video games. <laughs> yeah. That's the moral of this. Stop drawing. We have evil. parents, what? Oh my god. <laughs> but yeah, no. Um, did you guys have any more questions then for her in terms of, like, maybe how this whole thing possibly got started or any sort of ways to maybe prevent the uh the next one from happening cough cough oh no uh, did <laughs> you interact with uh sorry Go i ahead. mean uh, so like i said you could do the whole art URL thing and while you're doing that we could fight off whatever the thing is so you're not distracted and you can focus on the art thing because that can prove to not only yourself, but your parents and the rest of the school that you can accomplish whatever you put your mind to. It doesn't necessarily need to be a doctor or a lawyer or something like that. Because art and, art and video games is what you want to pursue, right? She nods. Yeah, that is. Well, then that's the plan. Yeah, I agree with her. I think you should prove that to yourself. Maybe, maybe everything will solve by itself. With the Nintendo DS. Mm -hmm. So we need to fight him in Scriblio. God. <laughs> Lord. I have one more question. Mm -hmm. uh, have you met anyone new recently? Or interacted with anyone? Anyone new? I mean... Yeah. No, not really. Um... I don't know, would there be anyone of known I should be looking out for or anything like that? Because No, just anything out of the ordinary except the whoa ghost DS thing. Hmm. Uh she kind of like taps her chin for a second as uh she kinda of goes back and says Well I guess there was one thing. It was kind of a while ago though. Um, at around, like, the start of the year, um, I don't know how relevant this would be, but it at least is relevant to my art. Um, someone had gotten a hold of one of my sketchbooks, and on social media they were posting a whole bunch of things on Facebook, just kind of making fun of things, and from oh. there... I grab a sharp object. <laughs> <laughs> Um, and she says, like, it, it wasn't any sort of, like, person or anything like that. It was just, like, a general, like, board for the, the school. It got, like, uh, taken down after a little bit, but I do remember that, like, there were just a handful of, uh, students who were, you know, going around making fun of people. One wouldn't happen to be named, insert the cheerleader's name that I can't remember. <laughs> um... As uh, she says, well, I mean, I do remember Heather being a part of it, as well as, you know, the rest of her clique. All right, I guess we have to kill them. <laughs> uh, you, what have I told you about this? I do not tolerate that kind of bullshit. To be able to, like, go on social media or in person full blast and shun someone for their gift is bullshit. I know, it, it's awful, but like, you don't have to kill them. You could just put a hex on them or something, right? I think killing them is a lot more merciful than me putting a hex on them. Wait, what happened? I, 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 I saw that for a second. Uh, we're talking about uh, bullies that took some of uh, Anjali's uh, artwork uh, and posted it on social media and how we shall deal these people oh man it's the internet you can just turn off your computer yep I'm... 
True. I'm, I mean, they, she's already seen it. That's the thing. And she doesn't know where it is. So, do we go and have a conversation with these people um, in order to um, kind of let uh, Anjali be confident in her artwork? Because I think that's the problem. If you, and I'm talking to Anjali now, if, if you um, if you slip in your confidence, I feel like that that thing might come back and tell you that you're not good. She nods and says, "I mean." If you guys wanted to, I feel like you're going through a lot of trouble on my account, but if you think that's going to be the thing to properly stop it, I mean, that seems, I guess, reasonable. Just probably don't kill her. That feels a little extreme to me still. I put down the sharp object. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, if the problem is internalized, as we said, Dealing with external sources is not gonna do a lot. No, but it'll Especially help. just a bully. Yeah, she nods and says, Yeah, and honestly at this point, I don't think I really care about what Heather and the rest of her clique actually has to say about my art. I'd rather get it from, well, people I actually trust. Okay, so we stick with the first plan. We go into the game world while you work on the mural. And... What? You were not Just willing to be able to go into the game world at any point. Oh, oh, yeah, no. Not... The last thing you remember is like stabbing the uh, the monster like in the, the 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 chest basically, and it kind of disappearing with you know. Yeah, that was Angeline doing. Mm -hmm. Yeah. If you were going the the confidence by Dan, I think that that. That was pretty important there. Mm -hmm. I I thought the thing was gonna come back. That's my that was my bad. Back. That's what I meant. I mean, well, I'll say you there guys could really... stand guard while she uh, does the mural, though. I guess. Yeah. Yeah, we could. Okay. But I feel yeah. like this is like a more sort of uh, how do you say, monster of the week kind of deal. <laughs> you know, I don't. I'm not sure why. But I just think <laughs> thank you, Nemo. Like thank you. <laughs> I thought I was having a stroke. Like, did, did I mess something up? Like, did I not end the session like last week? No, I'm sorry. I for some reason I thought like it wasn't over. That was my bad. <laughs> but yes, we can stand guard while she does the mural and Great. Just in case. Yep, Great. that's it. I'm done talking now. Sure. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> oh my god. As yeah, you you guys do so over the the week. Um, it's honestly fairly pleasant as uh, all of you guys just chat as uh, Anjali kind of like works on the the art. She occasionally like asks you for some like uh, opinions and some like uh, some ideas as to like what to do. And with with all of you guys like chipping in your ideas together, um. You put the bat pack right in the center. <laughs> She's formed a perfect mural of the bat pack standing oh in a heroic pose. <laughs> <laughs> well, no, it was supposed to be the fighting porcupines. No, it was the porcupines. Yeah, <laughs> as yeah, he, she she does this like uh, kind almost like a this cartoony style thing. Um, a, it's this d delightful portrait of like the of, of Porky the porcupine. Um, as like uh, he, he runs through the, the the city of Pleasant Grove that you guys live in, with all the the, the highlights and attractions uh, of it. Mm. Yeah, oh, it's wonderful. It's mm -hmm. absolutely wonderful. <laughs> yeah, it's neat. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and yeah, she gives a uh, a beaming smile as uh, she says, I, "I can't thank you all for everything you've done for me." I'm gonna go get the principal to mm -hmm. show him. If you want to call up your parents and show them. Mm hmm Yeah. Um, as uh, you you do so, uh, eventually the the three of them arrive. Um, as you can see, like um, as like Anjali like nervously like presents uh, everything like to her parents. Um, you watch as like uh, her, her father 
Clear in particular, like he, he normally had this like stern expression, but he, he seems to be like wearing like a soft smile as he asks her all sorts of like discerning questions about like what uh, she was thinking um, as like she, she made this entire portrait. Um, and as she like joyfully like explains it to them, uh, you can see like both of her parents uh, just have like this beaming smile and like this immense amount of pride in their child. Oh, oh that's good. <laughs> so wholesome. Yeah. Um, <laughs> as the, uh, the the principal says, this is incredible. Yeah, I absolutely uh, just this is really really great um you know i've been hearing about uh, there's a couple of uh art programs that uh, will be running this summer i can give you information about them if you're willing to try to apply to them um and as uh, she she looks towards her her parents uh just like hope like beaming in her eyes but her parents nod as she gleefully accepts the uh, the information about them yeah yeah <laughs> success Mm-hmm. As yeah, as you guys look around, there seems to be no traces whatsoever of the monster. As it seems that this mission is successful and you guys can head home and relax. Nice. Relax, he says. <laughs> Alright. Yeah. Unless there's anything else, you guys head home for the night. Gotta <laughs> come back to my place, I'm cooking. Um uh... Uh, what know. exactly are you cooking? Hold on. <laughs> uh, I'll, I'll, I'll keep it a surprise, you know, keep it fresh. <laughs> Sweet potato something. <laughs> I look in my bag for my veggie straws. I'm like, okay, fine. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. Incredible. Okay, I guess we all go to uh, Stanley and Pixie's house for dinner. Yeah. You guys, right. you guys do so. Uh, Stanley, you, you go ahead and make dinner. So yeah, it, what, what specifically is it? <laughs> so it's uh, it's fish and chips, um, but the <laughs> chips are, uh, are sweet potato, and the and the fish is uh, is vegan fish. Oh, uh, sick! The, I will eat them. The rest them. of it is, is completely uh, authentic. Pixie, like, picks at the... Uh... Um, and like sounds the uh sounds the fish. You look like you like that. Mm, yeah, my favorite. Yeah. Oh, thank God. <laughs> 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 so, uh, are your parents like ever gonna come visit you guys in the uh? Oh, no. States. no. No, no, no. They're way too busy. Busy with what? Uh, business. <clears throat> yeah, their work schedule's like really busy. They hardly have any time to chat. Mm. Oh. That sucks. Oh, it's okay. We get so much freedom. I don't mind it. Alright. Stanley's a, a good enough cook, so. I smile. <laughs> Do you make things other than fish and chips? Yeah, absolutely. Okay. <laughs> That's the only thing he knows how to make the whole time. <laughs> That's what you're surviving off of. Beans on toast. Be oh, right. <laughs> uh, bang us and mash. Throw it in the hole. I do have some amazing dauphin wines. I'm going to go home and have a root beer. <laughs> Out of spite. <laughs> oh my god. People's gonna wait until no one's looking. Then reach into his backpack and take out a bottle of pepper and other spices to put in his food. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh my god. Oh shit. I mean, salt and vinegar isn't enough? What? <laughs> As our freaks. <laughs> oh shit! <laughs> uh, great, great. <laughs> um. Anyway, it gets late, and now mm -hmm. I'll go home. Okay. I'll see y'all whenever. 
Yeah, see you soon. Cool. Mm -hmm. Wait, wait, when is the, the dance thing? Yeah, so it's currently, uh, it's Friday, which is the start of the weekend, but as soon as next week picks up, um, the start of the week is in fact homecoming week. Um, as, <laughs> yeah, um, as yeah, the, the days tick down on the next Saturday will then be the homecoming dance, which coincidentally is on Halloween. Coincidentally, uh, Mandy's birthday. Coincidentally, yes. <laughs> um, but all throughout the week, there's going to be various different like festivities um, as you guys uh, celebrate homecoming uh, and lead up to the, the homecoming game itself. <laughs> it's a so, game? Um, yes. yes, it's a football game. It's an American <laughs> thing. Um, yeah, and like every uh, Midwestern high school, um, your school has spent just an inordinate amount of money like into its football field, like at least a million dollars into least. a very mediocre team. Only to football, not to any other like successful thing like band or mm -hmm. like anything. Ooh, it's yep. just football. It sounds, it sounds like we're, we're digging a bit deep here. Uh, <laughs> it's <laughs> so true. It hurts. <laughs> so this whole thing is done for the football match. Yeah. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah. Generally, okay. it's against the uh, the team playing against their like uh, hometown rivals or something. Mm -hmm. All right. And there's a dance and everything for this reason. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yep. <laughs> Okay, Does it make weird. sense? No. No. It's, <laughs> it's, like, it's like a football dance. Yep. We right. just celebrate the football. I, mm -hmm. I don't know if I understand exactly. Uh, so, so the, a match of football is played and then and then we dance. Yep. Win <laughs> or lose. <laughs> what is that? Lose. Yep. <laughs> this is not a football cult. <laughs> So even if you lose, you celebrate. Yep. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. Doesn't make any sense. <laughs> you know? What do you even have to celebrate there? D d d football. That's life. <laughs> <laughs> what? Football. Mm -hmm. Football. That's life. Sometimes basketball. Sometimes, if we're lucky. That's basketball. Right. I understand a little better because yeah. it's a better game. Yeah. <laughs> There are football oh. hooligans in in Britain, but they don't celebrate if they've if they've lost. And you definitely wouldn't want to dance with them. No. Definitely not. Yeah, no, but 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 your football is 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 is, is their football. Their football is American football. American which is football is such shite. Okay. Bashing heads together. Yes, that's it. Running, you take a ball and you run. Yeah. Oh, I mean, oh, it's running. Just yeah. Oh, worse, okay. I think. Oh. I can play rugby. That's uh, that's easy. Anyway, we're all at the school again. <laughs> <laughs> oh god. Um, throughout the course of the weekend, though, we have some pre-mystery roles we can do. Ooh. All right. So let's go ahead and start off with Susie. You got a new one. Yeah. Ooh. Yeah. So how do um, I roll that? Where do I have to go? At the beginning of the mystery, you have to roll plus sharp. Um, sure. Okay. As you've uh, you've taken extensive notes of like the the previous two attacks, um, you can uh, uh, use all of these notes to to possibly predict some events about the future. Uh, so go ahead and roll that plus sharp. And let's see how well you are good predicting things. A failure. <laughs> oh my right. gosh. All right. On a failure, as you check your notes in particular. Um, you have some guesses as to like what's going to maybe happen next as on a failure i get to hold one and i get to spend it to put you in the worst place possible unprepared and unready oh I know. fuck oh god <laughs> so that oh, one's fun god. uh pixie as you're sleeping through one of the nights you have a dream let's see what that dream is if you can go ahead and roll me do, 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 do. Plus weird for Destiny's plaything. <laughs> uh, okay, let's go. Uh, ten. A success. Oh, cool. This one's a fun one. Uh, in your dream, you're walking through this like serene, picturesque forest. Um, 
everything just seems vibrant and colorful. You can smell like the the fresh like uh, spring scent, um, and, and just like see all these like vivid like uh, colors around you, as well as hearing like the these animals like chittering about. Um, as you look around, the, the chittering begins to go closer. As you can see, like a, a flock of birds beginning to just swirl around you. All of these birds, like just different. Uh, of various colors um and as they begin to like swirl around you you can feel them like trying to lead you somewhere um as you uh you you follow uh um baby eh, behind them they they lead you to like a small clearing where you can see that like a a fox is kind of like laying on its side um, as you get closer, you can see, like, uh, the, the fox has, like, a, a paw that appears to be injured as it's, like, sadly whimpering. Uh, you look around to try and see if you have any sort of, like, bandages or anything like that in order to actually help the fox itself, and unfortunately, you don't really have that. But as you look at this fox, you can sense something about it. It's a strange feeling. It's like feeling something in a new sense that like um, is more like a um, like an aura uh, that, that you can sense of the fox. Um, and as you keep sensing this like aura um, on the fox itself, um, you can almost see it so where you can like see the, the fox's memory. As you can see when it was like a, a kid being like raised by its mother as like wandering around like the forest until eventually it got like uh, its paw hurt in a, a trap laid by the hunter. Um, and as you like can feel its aura, you can you feel also like you can heal the fox itself. Um, as you can magically heal the fox. <laughs> oh, what? Yeah. So you lend it uh, just like a portion of what you can feel is your own energy. As you can see like the swirling green energy envelope around the fox's paw, mending it um, as uh, it manages to, to get itself up and looks at you with uh, a very thankful yip. Aww. And <laughs> as uh, you, you get to the, hang out in this carefree, serene forest for a little bit more, eventually you wake up. <laughs> Ooh. She immediately like gets out like a dream diary or something um, to note it down. Yeah, <laughs> I'm glad you got the uh, the wholesome one and not the extremely dark one. Yeah, me too. <laughs> <laughs> oh Just... god. Uh, next up, <laughs> Stanley. Okay, this one's the <laughs> the fun one. Go ahead and roll me uh, your your sect information. I believe that is plus charm. Yeah. Failure. Family. <laughs> oh my gosh. Buddy. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> oh god. This isn't good. With. A failure. <laughs> they, they ask you to do something bad. If you fail a mission or refuse an order, uh, you'll be in trouble with the sect until you atone. Oh, shit. You hear yep. uh, a rap tap tap at your window. Um, as if you can see, the uh, the messenger pigeon um, is uh, has brought you some kind of message. Okay, I'll, I'll open it up. All right. So first of all, as you do so, on a failure, every time you roll a failure, the the message is not where it should be. As you can see, the pigeon making hawking noises once again, like in our session zero point five, as it throws up a message at you. Did they make it out of sugar paper? Like, what is it? Why, no, why? it's just normal paper. It just kind of uh, the pigeon has just decided to eat it against its better judgment. Like, look at in in the eyes that you are a stupid pigeon. Like, <laughs> you really look into its eyes and you find nothing behind them. <laughs> but it hawks out the message at you, and as you you kind of 
just try to move away some of the, the drool and the, the vomit from the, the message. You manage to, to read it as it says, uh, uh, meet me at the, the bakery. <laughs> I'll, um, I'll do my morning chores and then head to the bakery. All right. <laughs> you, you do so. <laughs> um, as uh, you do so, uh, you walk into the bakery to see uh, Barry, your mission handler, um, as uh, he, he greets you. And of course, you order the uh, the usual you need to with your secret passphrase. I'll have a, uh, what was it last time? <laughs> uh, uh, yeah, I'm also trying to look it up quickly. <laughs> wait, what was it? It was, I'll have a London cheesecake, please. Yeah, let's go with that, sure. Hot cross <laughs> buns? <laughs> was it hot cross buns? It might have been hot cross buns. It was. Ah, oh, it was hot yeah. cross buns. <laughs> and as you uh, you order it, Barry says, all right, uh, good to, to see you in uh, one piece, Stanley. Now, uh, how, uh, you got any plans for uh, this week? Uh, big homecoming sort of thing coming up, right? Yeah, any sort of dates or anything like that uh, lined up for you? I mean, no. Is it? It doesn't seem that important to me. Is it? Is it? Is it meant to be? As uh, he says, well, I mean, it's a, a part of like a, every kid has to up. You know, like you, you find a date, like uh, you go with someone just to, you know, to have that normal high school experience. Now, I got someone that you should definitely ask out. As he, uh, I passed. Jesus, you. you're kind of cutting out. Am I cutting out? Oh, God. Yeah, your microphone's going whack. Let me let me try that again. As he he said, um, yeah. So I, I think homecoming, you know, like that's part of the normal teenage experience. I mean, while you're here in America, might as well, you know, when when in Rome, do as the Romans do. So have a have a normal sort of teen life, and uh, I definitely think you should ask someone out in particular. As he hands you a Manila envelope. Oh God. As a why, why, why do you, why have you got to do this to me? Okay, I. It is actually for a mission. Uh, open the uh, envelope up. Yeah, I open it up. As you open up the Manila envelope, inside is a picture of Heather. I fucking knew it. I. <laughs> knew. Oh, I wouldn't even wish that on Stanley. Like, ugh. <laughs> oh God. Heather Carter. Uh, she's a, a student that goes to your school. I'm aware. Her father is a wealthy industrialist and CEO of Carter Industries. Now, we have been doing some uh, looking up into them, and they have a lot of money going into really weird places. It could just be a normal thing, just extortion, something like that, but maybe this has ties to something bigger, and that's what I need you to figure out. The date's the easiest way that you can do this. You go on a date with her, you get invited to her house to pick her up, and as soon as you do so, he hands you a, a, a small mechanical device. You're going to bug her house. Oh shit. Okay. He, he gives you a, a smile and kind of like uh, slaps you in the back and says, that a boy, Stanley. Now go out there and you be the, the charming Casanova I know you can be. As you wish. <laughs> oh god, I'm so glad you got the failure. <laughs> this is <laughs> Fuck you, sir. Fuck you. <laughs> oh played. <laughs> oh god. As yes, you now have your mission. So if you fail <laughs> to get Heather to go with you to the dance, you're gonna be in hot water with your sect. <laughs> Enjoy. Okay. Show. <laughs> uh, with all of that, um, the other one. Oh, Pivo, you're the last person with the uh, the beginning of the roll mystery. I think. Hello. That's right. Yeah, right. I also have to roll to shoot shoot the sun. Yes. So let, let's start with your uh, your questions first, and then we'll see if you get to shoot the sun or not. Mm -hmm. Cool. That's okay. Great. Success. Three points, I believe, uh, to to connect the dots at any point in time during the mystery. Awesome. Fun. And roll me a D100 to see if you shoot the sun. If you shoot the sun. You can do it, Shivan. 
Hell yeah. I'm having a stroke, sorry. Uh, D100. Yep. Oh. And Oh god. With the seven you miss. You fire and you miss. <laughs> Get away this time, you faker. <laughs> the sun shows no signs of fear or any sort of expression towards you, but you can sense you're getting closer. One of these days. One of these days. Oh god. Anyways. We we can now fast forward ahead, unless you guys have anything you want to do in particular during your uh, free time over the weekend. Well, can I just say that room? I'm preparing for the thing? I mean, yes, you're preparing for your thing. Uh, okay, cool. Stanley, you had something? Yeah, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna, just, just go to bed. <laughs> Face down on your pillow, screaming. Yeah. Yeah, that's me. <laughs> great, great. Um, at the weekend, so I, I would like to go out, um, maybe birthday uh, present shopping, and try and get uh, Stanley to tag along. Um, to go to like, oh, what kind of place would I go for a present? Because Hot Topic's a thing, right? It's very much a thing, yes. yeah. <laughs> 2010s, yeah, this is like peak of its popularity. Perfect. You go in, you can't hear anything but metal music. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Um, you take uh, Stanley along with you as you you drive there in your your pink beetle. Um, as you guys are driving along, how is Stanley looking? <laughs> um, how is he looking? Uh, he's yeah. Looking at his shoes. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah. Just going along with the ride. Chin up. It's a, it's a big week next week. A bit of fun? Mm -hmm. Have you thought of a date yet? I really think you should branch out. Mum was talking to me about it. Right. Um, yes, I think. Uh, I'll invite Emma. <laughs> she, like, puts her hand, like, on the brake. <laughs> what? <laughs> and then stops going in. Emma? Heather. That is my choice. Oh. Um, uh, sure. Maybe we could also find something Heather would like in our topic. Yes. She is a female. I, I know a lot of them. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Stanley. Um, oh, I'm glad you're finally realizing your tastes. Yes. <laughs> Ever. That's... All of us are throwing up in our mouths. All of us. <laughs> yeah, this is so uncomfortable. <laughs> oh, God. I miss England. Who's uh, had her? Um, my, my date. Oh yeah, dude. Wait, it does people. Is people, people like just like out? popped oh, up God. in your in your trunk? <laughs> <laughs> He's just like sleeping. <laughs> <laughs> <He's laughs> <in your laughs> <bad feet, laughs> are you trying to? I sleep here sometimes because, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I gotta get it early to school. I've been missing a lot of classes. It's it's Sunday. It's That's uh, Sunday. Oh my god! I could be sleeping then. <laughs> uh, okay, all right. I'll see you guys later. People hops back into the trunk and goes back to sleep. <laughs> How are we driving? <laughs> you just you just roll out of the back seat just on. <laughs> Somewhere on the main road. Oh. <laughs> Amazing. Oh my god. But yes, you guys both go to Hot Topic. Uh, Pixie, what do you pick out for Mandy? And Stanley, what do you pick out for Heather? <laughs> oh, for God's sake. Okay, what do we know about Heather? 
<laughs> okay. Um, uh, money isn't an issue, but I can the girl. Coming from the heart? If she has one. The heart's not responsible for thinking. <laughs> it's, it's, a, it's a pump. It's, it's your hydraulic pump. For the, for the body, it's not, it's not. God, it, it, I don't do this. This is flowers. Oh no, she'll be, she'll, she'll be disappointed by flowers. Um, things don't be a thing. Um, I mean, flowers are me. I do planting. I, I, I'm a, I'm a plant person. Why do you think it's stuff in the garden? That might be an idea. If I'm not true to myself, then what am I really doing? Getting a date. Mm. With okay. one's Rose face. Is. With Heather. Heather. I'm gonna I'm gonna just go wander off into the into the into the town centre. <laughs> yeah. All right. <laughs> uh, you you do so. Um, did you want to pick some plants then, in particular, or? <laughs> yeah, I want to look for some heather. Some heather. Um, yes. <laughs> I have no idea. Oh, okay. So it's, it's like a character, a personality. <laughs> Yeah, so it's like a, these small purplish flowers. Um, let me double check where they grow. <laughs> and. <laughs> yeah, because I have. Okay, never mind. Yeah, they, they, they can occasionally grow in the, the US. Sure, fine. Yeah, you, you, you pick some, some heather. <laughs> okay, I'm going to start making a bouquet. Um based around these the, these heathers. Yeah, great. <laughs> you do so. Oh my god, incredible. Great. That's that's what I spend my Saturday doing. <laughs> awesome. Um unless anyone has anything else then it uh, rolls around to Monday. Let's go. I have just one question. Yeah. It's about American culture, though. Yes. Like, with the oncoming happening on Halloween Day, like, are they mixed together or something? Or is Halloween just disappearing because of coming is more important? How does it work? <laughs> I think you can mix them. Like, it depends, like, on the school, mm -hmm. really. With this one, I think they're mixed. Yeah, with this one, the theme's going to be, like, Halloween-themed. Um, they're, they're doing kind of a thing of, like, everyone's expected to dress up in, like, um, you know, like, suits and dresses and stuff like that, but, like, they'll at least allow the thing of, like, if you wanted, like, you know, like, a, you know, for, like, a something on your head or something like that, it's, like, more of a costume sort of thing, uh, you can do so. <laughs> right. Then I spend the weekend preparing, like, DIY decorations for Halloween from my house mm -hmm. and start thinking about uh, like my outfit for that because I want it to be spooky anyway. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. So I, I go shopping or whatever, like thrift shops and stuff to Great. get ideas. Awesome. <laughs> uh, yeah, you do so. <laughs> All right. Um, and then Monday then rolls around. Um, you guys uh, uh, all arrive uh, at uh, class on the first day of Spirit Week. Um, as only American friends know, um, uh, on each of the uh, the days here, there's occasional like um, things. Uh, <laughs> yeah, there's, there's occasional like themings and stuff like that. Um, what I'm going to decide for Monday is is going to be. Uh, dress like a pirate day. <laughs> what the fuck is shit? <laughs> what? Okay. Yeah. Uh, so very specifically during Spirit Week, they occasionally have like weird dress up days or something like that. <laughs> I'll bring in my shovel and I'll I'll put a put a what you call it? Uh, 
an eye patch on. <laughs> yes. That's, yeah. that's me. <laughs> Great. <laughs> I think Mandy's gonna cheat the system and mix not only her style, but like old, like gothy pirate queen style. I found this picture and I was like, ah. Oh. <laughs> yeah, awesome. I see Mandy in that. <laughs> Absolutely, yes. Susie would go in a full costume, like completely committed to that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Great. <laughs> Those people dress like Blackbeard. <laughs> people is dressed like Bigfoot, but we forgot. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> As he should. <laughs> oh my god. Oh, yeah, I'll probably get a uh, pixie to dress as, uh, like, in gold or, like, as many yellow and shiny things as possible. And she's Fuck yeah. Mandy's treasure. Oh. Oh. <laughs> oh, that's good shit. That's good <laughs> shit. Oh, my God. But, yeah, all of you guys uh, uh, arrive. Um, the day itself goes by... Um, relatively problem-free, um, beyond just the normal grievances with, uh, with school. Um, you know, people have, like, uh, set up decorations in, like, the halls, like, uh, advertising the, the homecoming ball itself. Um, and, uh, you can see on all, like, the posters is, like, various different, like, monsters and, like, uh, to, to, to really nail the, the super spooky sort of theme. The nail in the coffin. Mm. <laughs> oh god yeah um but i guess we'll we'll leave this at first uh for for you guys to have a little bit of time to um do any sort of scenes that you guys want to do and okay yeah, is he glad yes <laughs> okay i've been sitting on this for like three weeks and i'm really excited about it so there's this thing in america called um a promposal where you ask somebody to go to prom with you. Well, in this circumstance, oh, it's this chance. <laughs> After school and whatnot, Mandy's gonna go up to Pixie and kind of get her attention before they go into the uh, um, the research club. Uh, can I talk with you real quick? Uh, yeah, oh boy. She reaches into her backpack and pulls out a little goodie bag and hands it to you and there's a little card and she also hands it to you and she's blushing really bad and she, it says i'd have to be baddie not to go to the dance with you baddie she like squeals and like hugs you and spins you around is, is this what i think it is yeah <laughs> is this a they're called like pro proposals right yeah, kind of. I know this isn't prom, but like, it's it's a dance. And she like like opens the like the goodie bag, like old giddy. There's like there's like little bats filled with candy corn. <laughs> Hold on, Whoa. I set the picture right there on. <gasps> is this what it is? Yes. That's the cutest thing. I, know, I fucking scoured the internet for Halloween promposals and I found that. I'm like, I gotta. I have to. I'm legally required. Oh, she's just like holding your hand and like cannot be still, you know? <laughs> Fair. Hey, hey, uh, Elliot, could you post that on the stream so that way that y'all, the chat, can see what I'm talking about? Oh, yeah, never like mind. Chat. <laughs> I found it. <laughs> Anyway, now we go. Whatever. <laughs> yes, uh, you do so. Uh, Stanley, did you want to try to talk to Heather a little bit? Or are you just going to try and work up the courage a little bit more? Um, good God. Is it the time? Um, you can wait. There's a whole week of planned. Yeah, week week, yeah. Land. yeah, uh, yeah so. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to continue working on it. I'm going <laughs> to I'm gonna try and brush up. I, I, I am going to try and brush up. <laughs> brush up what? <laughs> Oh, oh god. I'm so excited. If you 
if you also want to too, uh, you could also investigate a mystery and use that move in order to try to like get some more information on how to like um, how to really impress Heather here. <laughs> I, I'm gonna go and find people. Okay, great. <laughs> <laughs> the man of love her. advice. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yes, I know stuff. <laughs> Hello, my friend. <laughs> wow. I need your help. With what? So, are we all doing a costume until I have a Bigfoot one looking cool? <laughs> I, for, for reasons unknown, need to ask Heather to the prom. Yeah, I, I remember. I was in the car. Yep, I'm aware. <laughs> Are you okay? Like looking at the bruises on the side of his face. <laughs> I mean, you guys could could have left the the air conditioner on last time. It was a little hot. Right. I think I passed out the I'll, second I'll, there. I'll, I'll tell you. Oh um, I need your help. So can, I need you, and I, I will I will I will pay you for this. Um, I need you to try and follow Heather and just just pick up on what she likes, okay? Because I need to know what she likes. If you could do this for me, I'll, I will be in your debt. Because I'm really, really bad at it. Okay? Alright, buddy. Oh my That's God. a little weird, you know? You yep. were stalking this girl. It's, uh, I mean, you're paying me to stalk this girl, actually. That's... Mm -hmm. Yes, it's because... Oh, I'm like a private detective, that's cool. Because my father is up to something. So uh, if, you, if you help me out here, then maybe I'll tell you what her father's up to. Okay, cool. I can do that. Wonderful. This is the best thing ever. Should I go now? Uh, yes. Cool. Right. I'm going to People take the on a, a, <laughs> a, a, a black hat. And, and just looks like the uh, private browsing thing from the Google Chrome. Yeah. But also in a Bigfoot costume. <laughs> away. But also in a Bigfoot costume, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Cool. Great. <laughs> awesome. <laughs> Go ahead and roll investigate a mystery then. Um, as, yeah, you, you search around the school trying to find where uh, where Heather is. Cool. Mixed success. All right, uh, you can find a, a vague sort of answer. Um, here's the information I will give you. As you're looking around, um, you eventually spot uh, Heather um, as uh, she, she's currently uh, chatting with uh, a few people. Um, you can see the, the people in question are probably like football players. Um, as yeah she she has like her, her click around uh, as like uh they're, they're just kind of like uh all, all like talking to these like uh football players and like just like real laughing like really sort of like loudly and almost a little bit vague at like uh, what they're saying i see okay people's taking down notes football oh fuck I'm and so uh, stuff <laughs> <on> a mission <laughs> <laughs> Hey, I, I wrote out football. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna walk up to them. You you do so, and like the the football players themselves, they just kind of like uh, look at you and just go like, "Oh, hey man, a uh, sick Bigfoot costume." Um, I do. I think I worked really hard on it. <laughs> Are you As... wearing a costume too? What? Sorry. <laughs> Are you wearing a costume too for the for the prom thing? Uh, not currently. We, we we have practice tonight, so we gotta change into our football uniforms. Ah, cool, cool. Do, do you need help making a costume? I I I like those. For like the the, the dance or something like that, yeah. <laughs> yeah, for the dance, yeah. I have like feathers and tar, and that's pretty much it. You can be like a feather monster. <laughs> monster? Oh my God! You're all manipulate someone. <laughs> Oh, I yeah. use sharp because of my. <laughs> <laughs> oh shit! Yeah, go ahead and manipulate someone with your your sharp, I guess. 
mixed success. Uh, they'll do it, but uh, you, you have to do something for them right now to show you mean it. As they kind of like uh, across to him and say, I mean, that sounds kind of cool, but like, how do we know you'll make like a really good costume? I mean, we don't have to work really hard on the fatter monster thing. Just push a bunch of tar in our body and then the fatters. It's not complicated. <laughs> I mean, is that particularly scary for like other people though? Because like, it feels like we're just kind of charring and feathering ourselves right now. I mean, if you saw a feather thing come at you, sped out oh, full speed at, at night towards you, wouldn't, wouldn't you be scared? I would, because, you know, feathers, they, they, they symbolize pigeons and stuff. Pigeons are scary. I'm, okay. I'm dying. Um... <laughs> Let's go with the uh, manipulate someone once more and just have to get a mixed success to seal the deal. Great. <laughs> cool. Awesome. Yeah, with the mixed success, they hey, look at you and they say, that does actually sound pretty scary. Hell yeah, dude. Yeah, dude. Let's go. I'll, I'll see you guys later tonight. I'll, I'll bring the tar and the feathers. Mm -hmm. the then entire... I'll turn to Heather. <laughs> yeah. yeah, the entire time you were talking, Heather has just been like, uh, you. it's up to you whether you notice this or not, but like, she's been giving you like the evil eye for like daring to even try to approach her. People doesn't notice this kind of stuff. Right. He only notice lies. <laughs> People turn to, to Heather with the <laughs> Bigfoot hat on. <laughs> <laughs> hey dude, how are you doing? She, first of all, she's just kind of looking away for a second, hoping that if she just ignores you for long enough, you'll go away. Do you persist, I'm assuming? <laughs> yeah. Hey. 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 Oh my Dude. god, what? <laughs> hey. <laughs> Are we going to the dance thing? I mean, yeah, I'm probably gonna go to it. I mean, yeah, I'll be homecoming queen and everything. Oh, cool. Do you have a partner yet for the thing? Um, she scoffs as she says, uh, yeah, uh, a ton of people have asked me out. As people, you can tell that's a lie. <laughs> uh... <laughs> that's interesting. I don't know what to ask you, uh... Do you know about Stanley? Why would I? I? I mean, he's pretty big. He's like football size. <laughs> she blinks. <laughs> Just like, <laughs> yeah, yeah. She she blinks as, as uh, seeming to not really care too much about like. That statement by itself. <laughs> cool. I don't know what to ask you. Uh, what are your are your interests and stuff? Why am I still talking to you? <laughs> I'm cool. People, you can tell that's a lot. No. <laughs> <laughs> fuck are you talking about? I would rather <laughs> hang out with Peepo any given day of the fucking week than Heather. As Heather I'll says, like, you know what? Like, <laughs> you do not have the social standing to talk to me. Uh, I'm going to leave now as she, <laughs> she gets up to begin walking away. <laughs> cool. I'm gonna wait and I'm gonna hang out with the football guys. Then I'm gonna yeah. follow her. <laughs> Discreetly this time. Mm -hmm. The football guys do seem to think you're pretty cool. Um, oh, yeah. yeah. In. <laughs> you have an in with the football guys. Uh, but yeah, you're, you're just gonna follow after her just to see like what she's she's up to next. Or... Yep. Okay. Um, go ahead and roll investigate mystery one more time. Mm -hmm. Cool. Or is it? Ah. Mm 
mixed cool. success once more. Uh, cool. So yeah, as uh, you you see her in like the the distance, um, you can't quite tell like the uh, the details of the the conversation itself. But as she seems to like talk with her click, uh, you can see like one like a uh, girl in her click just kind of like say like some comment. That you can only assume is like snide um as like there's some raucous laughter as uh she just just like yells out like shut your mouth as uh, she begins to to just like uh walk off from like the, the rest of the group um mm-hmm. as uh she she does so she's now just like on her phone just like uh texting mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. People scratches his chain in the Bigfoot costume. You do so. <laughs> I'm not sure what to do. This information. Mm-hmm. Okay, I walk up to the girls. Okay. Oh, you. <laughs> you do so as all of them just like look at you with just like a d- 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 amount of disdain. <laughs> Hey. Uh, hi. People blinks one eye after the other. <laughs> All of them are like slowly stepping away from you. Oh man, I love it. I love it so much. Ah. <laughs> uh, do you guys know about Heather? What happened there? I was walking by and saw you guys. What, what was that? Rural manipulate someone at least to make success to get the info here. Cool. Full success. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> With a, uh, a full success, um, one of the the girls just like pipes up as she says like well we heard a rumor that uh heather couldn't get anyone to go ask her uh, to the dance um as uh, another girl like pipes up as uh she says yeah i mean after uh logan uh well he, he came out with uh with arlo um he started how shitty uh and um Heather was when they were actually dating for a little bit there. So apparently after all those rumors, like no one actually wants to go to the dance with her at all. That's sad. Don't you guys think it's sad? <laughs> they they just kind of like shrug as they say, yeah, I mean, I guess we feel pity for the poor girl. They're just kind of like laughing. Uh, re- well, really just at her. <laughs> Do they feel pity? Hmm? They don't actually feel it, it. It's pity in a condescending way. Let's go with that. Cool. You, you can at least tell that very easily. It's very condescending. Hmm. Yeah, if, if you are guys, are you guys friends? What's happening? I mean, yeah, sort of. <laughs> and give you this people you can definitely tell by your standards that's a lie <laughs> that's you why why do you call yourself that why do you say you guys are friends i mean well she's not like fun to hang out with or stuff like that but i mean she's rich and like Occasionally, we get to do cool things just because, you know, she's a rich heiress. Yeah, that's a good reason. <laughs> yeah, we think that. so, too. <laughs> yeah, it's still a bit mean, though. I mean, you sh- I should have tried to at least, you know, help her with her personality issues. You know? The... Yeah, you can see one of those cops. I don't really see how that's our problem. <laughs> Me, it would make the hanging out easier for y'all. You know, you get to hang out with a cool person and hang out with a rich person. You know, you get both. <laughs> oh, please. 
she probably was born sucky and she's gonna remain sucky for the rest of her life. Um, That's a very possible thing, yeah. Anyways, did you have anything else or are we done here? Yeah, oh, we're done. Thank you guys. You guys are... Guys. <laughs> they they go back to their uh, their gossiping. Uh, as yeah, you head up <laughs> to, to give us a game we gathered. E <laughs> Alright. You... You do so. <laughs> I don't know why, but I just imagine people also just like just doing like cover rolls like and stuff like that to try and remain stealthy. Yeah. <laughs> In a Sasquatch suit. Yeah. Yep. Okay. <laughs> you see Sasquatch, yeah, just rolling at you. <laughs> Not stealthy at all, just full on. Mm -hmm. Heavy, <laughs> heavy custom. Yeah, he, he's like, he, he can't quite see through the costume very well, so he's just occasionally like trying to roll behind a trash can, and he just kind of like tackles the trash can head first. <laughs> but yeah, you, you, you see Bebo. <laughs> Dude, I, I, I gather all the information, I'm so good at this. Okay. Uh, tell me. Okay, so it turns out, Heather is not popular at all, everyone hates her. Okay. And that's pretty much it. I don't know anything about her personality other than it sucks. Okay, what is she like? I forgot about that. <laughs> I didn't ask. Though, considering the situation, I think if you just go and ask her out, that would be enough. Okay. So... <sighs> okay. So, who was she with, and and did they say anything about her? Uh, I talked to the football guys. They're cool. Uh, they they didn't tell me anything about her because I didn't ask. I forgot. And then I asked <laughs> the girls she was friends with, and they hate her. But she's rich, so she likes money. I think, maybe. Uh, but I think, probably. Right now, she just wants to be popular again. See, I know it's not everything being popular, but I mean, I don't have to tell that to you. Um, but you're, 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 you're perfect, people. Just thank you. Um, yeah, I'm hi. perfect. Yes. Thank you. Um, and I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna slide uh, people uh, twenty dollars. Uh, oh, I can buy. I honestly don't know what you can buy with this, so just... just yeah, yeah, me neither. I, I'm, I'm thinking right now. How was inflation back in 2012? How much money? Not like much more. Is it 50? Is it, is it, is it 5 pounds? I think it's 5 pounds. Uh, oh, shit. I can buy up with it, for sure. That's monetary things work. Capitalism, yes. I'm American. Mm -hmm. Thank you. you you've, you've helped me here. Uh, no problem. Also, if you need an info with the football guys, uh, I can help with that too. I'm their friend Thank now. Thank you. I think I actually have an in with the football guys. Oh, hell we'll yeah. See. Yeah, you should talk to them. That would help with the popular thing. Right. Thank you. Um, and the next thing Stanley is going to do is going to be to go talk to the coach. <laughs> yeah, oh my god, is great. he joining football? <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> As, yeah, um... You, you can see a, a, a gruff man uh, on the field as uh, he, he's barking out uh, orders at the, the ice board on the field. Um, as he says, like, uh, hey. Hello, coach. Do you need something? It's time. I'm ready to join. He, <laughs> yeah, he, he gets a smirk. He says, huh, it's normally pretty a traditional to 
get a, a new person in for uh, this late in the game, but uh, we already have someone out with a concussion, which are extremely common in this game and can actually like seriously hurt many, many high schoolers that end up playing this. So yeah, you can sub in for him as a linebacker. Sounds great. <laughs> Each day you practice, roll me a D100 to see if you end up with permanent brain damage. No. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> that is, the chances of that are so high. <laughs> <laughs> oh god. Because, <laughs> okay. uh, yeah, okay. you properly joined the football team. Oh god. Uh, at the uh, the end of practice, after uh, you, uh, you practice with the team, which. You're surprisingly good at this. The, your rugby knowledge transfers over fairly well. Um, you can see Logan again, as uh, he is, in fact, the, the quarterback of the team. <laughs> uh, I'll, uh, I'll give him a wave. Yeah, uh, he, he waves you and says, hey, uh, fun running into you here. <laughs> yeah, I'm finally decided to join. Oh, huh, that's crazy. Uh, well, yeah, just good to see you on. Just let me know if you, if you need anything. I can introduce you to the guys uh, for sure. <laughs> Actually... You know what? I do need some. Oh, yeah, whatever you need. I, wanna... I hate to say it, but I'm looking up here uh, to go to uh, the prom thing with. Uh, sorry, it's you know I, I forget the name. Um, <clears throat> and uh, have my eyes on on Heather. But I was wondering if does she, does she come to watch practice now then? Or I mean, isn't she a cheerleader? Yeah, she is one of the, the cheerleaders time. there. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> As yeah, he he looks over at like the the, the cheer squad performing their routines. As uh, he he just kind of like sucks in her breath and says, "Ooh, um, yeah." So, word of advice there. Uh, she's not like a great person. We briefly dated in middle school and uh honestly she's pretty toxic i would just highly advise it. maybe not the the, the the greatest thing there i mean i i can introduce you to some other people though if, if you want me to i'm kind of looking for a challenge a challenge i yeah. <laughs> oh, i'll say it's regretted <laughs> <laughs> God, Logan just kind of like puts like a hand on your shoulder. He says like, I, okay, I, I'm just going to put this out there. This is like kind of the language that my dad used to use with me. And I just want to say like, this is toxic masculinity right here. And I know that you guys help me out with this a lot. And I just like, I don't want to see you going through that like same sort of path. All right. I can, I can fix it. I can fix it right here. I said the thing. Oh no! Romy manipulate someone. <laughs> okay. Uh, this game has just spiraled. Oh. Failure. <laughs> <Hey. laughs> I, I, I need this. I, just, I need this. Oh. <laughs> You don't understand. Oh, Christ. Bro, you just... might as well just take the punishment from whatever thing you have. <laughs> yeah, I'm considering it. I'm considering it. He goes on to say, like, I mean, I guess I can. As you can see, you've lost a lot of respect in his eyes. Yikes. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I'll, uh, I'll just continue practicing and so so, until I can, uh, you know, until practice is finished or something. Oh my god. <laughs> yeah, practice has, has finished as uh, he says, like, yes, you want me to introduce you, I guess, right now? <laughs> yeah, I mean, if you're not comfortable with this, that's that's fine. I just, just know that, you know, I need to, I need to do this. I mean, I um, guess I owe you one, so, you know, just, yeah. Just again, okay. just... Uh, I'm here to, to talk, though, if you need to, you know, talk about things, I guess. Um, Thank you. <laughs> I will definitely take that up after. <laughs> <laughs> he says, sounds good. <laughs> oh, my God. Um, 
Uh, so you two uh, walk up to, to Heather, and uh, as soon as like you you do so, you can see her just immediately like fix her hair. She just puts on this like tried like charming like bright smile as uh, she says like, "Oh, hey, Logan, how's it going?" Um, just like yeah, just, just kind of trying to put to play up this almost ditzy appeal as uh, Logan goes on to say, uh, "Hey, Heather." Um, I don't know. Have you, uh, have you met Stanley? <laughs> As, uh, she, she just kind of looks like a little bit disappointed, but just says, uh, no, I, I, I haven't. <laughs> I did do the thing. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> yeah, sorry. <laughs> I got, I'm trying to get back. I'm kind of like thinking about getting back into watching How I Met Your Mother. I, I'm a little bit scared because I'm so scared it just like hasn't aged well at all. <laughs> but it, it, did but it's not. the 2010s. It's the 2010s. So for, for right now, things are fine. How I Met Your Mother is still considered a, a fine show. Oh my God. Kinda. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> As, um, he, as Heather just says, uh, Hey, uh, what's your name? Hey, uh, I'm Stanley. It's nice to meet you. Uh, we may not have uh, spoken much before. He gives you a, uh, a very sort of like wary uh, handshake. Um, you can definitely notice very easily that like, he, although she's kind of like talking to you, her, her eyes like very much are kind of like, Flitting to to Logan. Um, your uh, your name, uh, Heather. It's a it's a flower. It grows grows quite a lot. In I thought. It was oh, uh, th thank you. Welcome. <laughs> oh God. <laughs> um. Logan just like says like, well, I'll leave that. Uh, you should get like, acquainted a little bit. I gotta head head out. Um, as yeah, he he just kind of like uh, once again just pats you on the back. Um, as you can see, like Heather just like like uh, stare after uh, Logan leaving as she just kind of sighs. Seems nice. Uh, yeah, yeah. So, told um, me you, sorry, go like, ahead. No, you, you go ahead, you go ahead. <laughs> you told me you, um, kind of dated a little bit a few years ago? I mean, yeah, uh, I broke things off, though, I mean, we, we just weren't compatible. I, I, she just kind of, like, brushes uh, her hair aside. So it doesn't work out. Mm -hmm. Yeah, for sure, for sure. Um, but, um no, I mean, go ahead. <laughs> I know he uh, he attends uh, a local uh, garden. I mean, he's a, he's an avid uh, he's an avid um, we're, we're best mates in that regard, you know. Uh, Logan does a lot of gardening. Yeah, yeah, oh, absolutely. <laughs> uh, <clears throat> oh, so God. maybe she she kind of like spin like her anger as she says like hey uh do you think that like maybe we could go to the gardens together sometime yeah for sure yeah uh, absolutely uh, <laughs> if we uh maybe t tonight or tomorrow night i could i could uh, i could pick you up uh, if you want to yeah uh, tomorrow night sounds good um <laughs> Uh, his, yeah, you, you've successfully managed uh, a date with Heather. Yep. Oh, oh see God. You. <laughs> yeah, great, see you then. <laughs> oh, man. You you leave practice as you uh, you begin to, to head home. <laughs> uh, I'm gonna go to Pixie. <laughs> <laughs> yep. <laughs> hey. You okay? Yeah, yeah. Munching on the uh, the candy corn. That's that. That's because I'm going to go. Sophie, you're really you quiet. Feet mm -hmm. Because yeah. you are the quietest possible. Is this good? Is 
yeah, if you turn it around, I think. Yeah, that? Yeah. Any better? Yeah. Okay. Uh, yeah, I'm munching on the candy bowl. No, it's getting quieter. Yeah, how can it get quieter? Oh, it's going to burn. It just scream. Scream <laughs> into the heavens. Okay, and say hello? it again. Hello, 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 hello. Yep. It's good? It's better, yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, um, I, I'm eating the candy corn goodie bag that uh, Mandy gave me. Uh, and yeah, uh, hey, what, what do you need? I I need you to do a favour for me. Another favour? Yeah. Oh no, what's that look in your eye? I need your car. You need my pink car. You need a yeah. lift? Oh. Yeah. Yeah, that's not a problem. I can always give you lifts, but what? Amazing. What the? What do you look like that? What do you look dead inside? By the way, is Chance also wearing like a football uniform? Because I was imagining so. You 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 basically like just got let out of practice. Yep. So. <laughs> what what are you doing? Why why do you look like a like a jock? I joint uh football oh okay uh this is new this is new yeah okay where do you need a lift to you're freaking me out now um i got her address i i don't just oh shit i said her but no it's nothing it's really nothing her it's i you spoke to heather didn't you yeah what did you do i invited her to the garden at what time Tomorrow night. And you judge my girlfriend? <laughs> and you want to go out with Heather? Yeah. Damn. I guess I don't know. Okay, I'll give you a lift. I'll give you a lift. But you owe me a favor. Okay. And we're getting takeout. Nice. Okay, okay. sure. Cool. Just please be nice to her. I, I, I won't say anything. Okay. <laughs> Cut. Um, I uh, I need to go and find. Um, <laughs> I need to go and find Logan. <laughs> <laughs> oh shit! Uh, oh my god. Um, no, I need to go and find Arlo. Yeah. <laughs> okay. <laughs> we'll let this be the last scene before we uh, take a fifteen minute break. Then. Yeah. Sorry, I'm taking up so much time. Uh, yeah, I, yeah. I go find Arlo. Um, yeah, you, you head to the uh, the the marching band uh, room, and uh, yeah, people are putting away their instruments. As you can see, uh, Arlo as he's just like chatting away with his friends. Um, he eventually sees you from across the room and uh, and waves at you. <laughs> hey, how are you doing? Hey. Uh, wait, sorry, what'd you say? <laughs> I said, how are you doing? Oh, doing good, doing good. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, no, I mean. Things have gone really well since you guys helped us out there. Uh, Everything's absolutely. going well for you, or? Yeah, yeah. I, I just, I, I, I need you to do something for me. No. So, I have, I have invited a girl to to a, a, a garden, and I need you to get Logan to go to the garden. So, can I invite you to help and just teach you how to, like, to do some partying or something? Please. He, he starts off with a smile, like, uh, you're coming to him for dating advice, and he's just like, oh, and then quickly goes to, oh. <laughs> yeah. um, as he just goes on with a very confused look. Why do you need Logan over there, too? If you're asking a girl out? Because I said Logan be there. And you know how Logan's popular. You know how you're a very lucky man. So, the only reason this girl's going out with you is because she thinks Logan's gonna be there? Yep, essentially. This there's a greater purpose, and I'm into greater purposes, alright? So, 
I'm asking. I'm asking to trust the process. Yeah, go ahead and roll manipulate someone. I'll give you a, a plus one because you did in fact like save his life. <laughs> gotcha. Uh, that is plus charm. Do I just put one or do I put plus one? I can't remember. Uh, just one. Just one. Okay. Failure. You want to use a luck point or nah? Yeah. Yeah. I mean, yeah, I do. <laughs> Great. You go ahead and uh, and use a, a luck point. Um, as you you do so, he's about to ask like a lot of questions, but he eventually just goes on to say, "It's something like what happened with Logan, isn't it? This thing you need the favor for." Yeah. Yeah. Okay then. I trust you. Thank you. He, he smiles uh, as he says, Sure, but uh, I will also be telling Logan that too that uh, it probably has something to do with, you know, some weird thing like what happened to him. I'm, I'm certain as soon as like I tell him that, he'll be totally fine with it, just to make sure no one's in danger or whatever. Yeah? Yeah, please keep him in the loop. Uh, I'm sorry. <laughs> He, he he lets out a very sympathetic smile at that uh, as he says, like, hey, man, well, whatever we, we need to do to, to help you out with these things, we just call on us. We're, we'll be there. <laughs> um, yeah, as uh, he, he heads off to, to tell Logan, thankfully saving you a lot of awkwardness between them. <laughs> oh, man. As, let's go ahead and take our 15-minute break here. <laughs> Hello. 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 Uh, by the way, in hindsight, I realized something. It is close to four now. We can normally play up until five. Um, but as I look at my notes and like what's kind of like coming up ahead, in hindsight, it might be better if we like call it here because here seems like a better stopping point than like having you guys try to remember some details and be like like you know you know like you have to take down notes for like what what's happening in the mystery itself <laughs> um mm. so actually are we good at kind of calling it here i think it's a little bit early but i think i might want to Wait, wait. Do we freak out to? Can we can we find um Susie a date? <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> if if you guys want to, do I have to? Do I have to? <laughs> yeah, you don't have to go as a date or anything like that. Of course, like. <laughs> but we can. But you can. We uh, can all be your. That is up to what you are. Every single one of us. I, I mean, I'm curious to see what Mandy proposes to me. Oh boy. <laughs> <That's> okay. <laughs> I'll wait till everyone's back for sure. I do anything. I'm not interested in finding one myself. If somebody, you know. <laughs> <laughs> All right. She's going to take a moment to call this out right here. Ali just said Susie's dates at Twilight cut out. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I agree with that. <laughs> Hold on. But he, Shiva, I'm gonna DM you shit. Hold on a minute. I have okay. the perfect, I'm scared. I'm perfect so scared. idea. So am I. I'm scared for Shiva. <laughs> yeah. Poor Susie. She died. People should find one too. Mm hmm. <laughs> Lady Are we just gonna do like speed dating with you two? <laughs> Jesus Christ. Huh? Huh? I'm scared now. I... What the fuck was that? <laughs> I mean, I guess we can play that out. <laughs> it's a nightmare, and I, I hate it, but I also think the comedic value of it. Again, that's, that's this is up to you. So I'm so yeah. scared, <laughs> but I'm okay with that. <laughs> I'm ready. Okay, are we all ready and back? Because I want to do this so bad. Yeah, we're all back. 
Yeah. Ali, we're recording. Wait for tech. Okay. Cool. Yeah, go ahead. <laughs> so, the end of school happens, and seeing as I guess Stanley has a date, and Mandy and Pixie are obviously going on a date to the dance, uh, Mandy, being the wingman for Susie, as always, pulls Susie to the side after school. Hey, uh, I have a proposition for you if you would, uh, just indulge me. Sure. Oh, no. Tell me. <laughs> she leads you to the theater <laughs> of the school. And Mandy is act actively a part of the like the musical plays, the theat theater club, as well as the research club. And mm -hmm. on the stage, you see this guy who's like pouring his heart out, trying to practice for Shakespeare. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah, I'm like, Not what like are we doing him. here? Just what is that? <laughs> all this stuff. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah, you you can see the 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 guy on stage. He has like he has his dark hair. Um, he he has like a piercings, very much like a goth sort of like aesthetic. Um, just eyeshadow like underneath his eyes. Um. Mm -hmm. As yeah, he, he 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 just puts his like heart and soul into this performance. Just holding his skull as to be or not to be, uh, as he's <laughs> performing this monologue. <laughs> I'm he's, he's very like impressed. <laughs> yeah, I'm looking at Mandy. And I'm like, who is he exactly? So this is one of my good friends, Charlie. Uh, he's a Are bit like of. Ch Charlie, leave me alone. I'm just, I popped a name out of whatever, okay? <laughs> you, okay, never mind. No, now it's Carlisle, because fuck you. <laughs> okay. This is my good friend Carlisle, and uh, he's 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 part of the theater troupe with me, and he's, he's a really nice guy, but, like, he's super into vampires. <laughs> mm-hmm. So, like, sure. this guy's... I just thought, you know, maybe he's really nice. Like, don't don't get me wrong. He's just a little extra. Mm hmm. Sure. Oh, I didn't even What's think your point? Charles. I kept thinking Charles is Stanley. I'm so yeah, sorry. Like, now I understand my <laughs> you're giving me actual Is he forcing Charles to play this goth character? <laughs> yes, Charles, you're now playing the goth kid. No, no. Oh. His name's Carlisle now. Right. I'm so sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I understand. It's Carlisle, for real. Oh. Anyway, yeah. And once he's done with his monologue, she'll kind of wave. Hey, uh, I have someone to introduce you to. Yeah, he he looks at you and like he he just like jumps like off of the stage and like as he lands, he just quickly like flips his hair to the side. Yes. Um. <laughs> oh my god. As he saunters over to you two. <laughs> That's a lot. Okay. <laughs> like I, yep, I told you, he's real extra. Carlisle, this is Susie. Susie, this is Carlisle. Both of you are really good friends of mine. Hi. He, <laughs> yeah, nice he, he does this deep bow towards you as he says, it's an absolute pleasure to make your acquaintance. Yeah, I just go like, please stand up. Um, nice to meet you. <laughs> oh god <laughs> I uh I give Susie just uh the finger pointer of just just give me one minute and I take Carlisle to the side and I'm like <laughs> okay listen buddy I'm trying to help you out here Susie she's like way out of your league but <laughs> <laughs> well that just seems hurtful yeah anyway <laughs> she's she's super nice and since neither of you have a date to the dance i thought hey maybe this could be a good opportunity for you to kind of branch out away from the theater kids for a hot minute yeah <laughs> i mean she seems nice <laughs> i mean okay <laughs> i suppose 
<laughs> Pat him on the back and I turn Wreck around. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> I'm just standing awkwardly there, watching them yeah. gossip. <laughs> he saunters over to you as he says, Tell me, Susie, do you believe in destiny? Um, sure thing. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> This is a nightmare. <laughs> this yeah. is the worst character you pitched me. <laughs> uh, you're welcome. Oh, man. The intersection of two souls meeting like this. Perhaps it was written in the stars itself. <laughs> or Mandy's idea. But anyway, yeah, sure. The stars. <laughs> ah, yes. The fate maker herself, as he points to Mandy. Uh, yeah. I give a thumbs up. <laughs> <laughs> well, perhaps if you were interested, I would. <laughs> would you perhaps care to head to the dance together? Um, I mean, I am nobody else who's asked me, so probably yes. Only if you're up to an Halloween costume in a fancy version, though. <laughs> he lets out the, uh, just like this deep laugh uh, as he says, Oh, I can do costumes. God damn it. <laughs> I wonder what he's going as. I uh, don't know. Who knows, eh? Um. <laughs> okay, then, um, I'll get your phone number, I guess. So that we can plan the costumes for mm -hmm. the ball or whatever. Yeah. He, he, he like uh, holds out his hand with like a flourish of his wrist. He uh, he pulls out his phone as you two exchange phone numbers. Oh, <laughs> oh, this God. is the best character I've ever pitched in my whole life. I will never <laughs> this Oh, Christ. Uh, like, uh, see you soon then. And run away with Mandy if <laughs> Mandy gives him the biggest thumbs up, like, nice. <laughs> and we go back to the research group. And I'm like, to Mandy, why do you have to do this to me? I mean, okay, <laughs> look, if he's really too much for you at the dance, I can tell him to back off and he will he won't take any offense to it. I've reminded him several times. He's a lot. Like a lot, a lot. Like this was him holding back, which I'm really surprised. So maybe you can do that to the dance as well. Yeah, I got you. I got you. That's okay. That's great. Okay, cool. I just, I feel bad because I don't want you to be like, you know, a third wheel or anything with like me and Pixie or Stanley and whoever the hell he's going with. I don't know if people has a date or not. We should find somebody for him as well, maybe. She grows the biggest shit-eating grin. That's a great idea. He could go with Anjali. <gasps> oh, you're right! <gasps> you have the biggest brain I've ever known, Susie. Holy shit. That's what I'm known for. We go find An Anjali? An Anjali, Anjali. yeah. <laughs> he says, cool, everyone pronounces my name wrong. I'm so sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry, I forgot. I don't mean to. <laughs> it's fine, it's fine. It's... <laughs> You're making me feel bad. I, you know I don't mean it. <laughs> yeah, no, it's fine. I, I also, again, just this is something I have had to struggle with having a very Indian sounding name. It's fun when you hear a teacher just like hesitate as they kind of look worried at your name. Yeah. Right? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. She, damn. <laughs> yeah, God. <laughs> Anyways, uh, hey, what's up? <laughs> so. Do you have a date to the dance? I'm not asking in either sheet, but we're just asking in general. Uh, no, I, I don't think I do. I mean, so, no, well, I don't. I don't know why I said that. Right now, in the spirit week. 
<laughs> Wait, sorry, what? <laughs> what is her outfit for the spirit week? Um, <laughs> it, it, it's like full like Captain Regalia. <laughs> Perfect. Yeah, you can see like a full like tricorn hat, like a long cloak, everything. Perfect. Mm. Okay, meet me at the club in like ten minutes, and me and Susie run to find people. <laughs> yeah. God. Where's Good. people? <laughs> people. <laughs> no <worse>. Sleeping. <laughs> in the, in the truck where? again. <laughs> <laughs> After scouring the, the the entire school to find Peepo in his usual spots, I then call up Pixie. Hey, can you do me a favor? Oh, not you as well. No, is <laughs> is is Peepo in your car? Hey, I don't know. I'm not in my car. Can you Let's look? <laughs> I oh can't my... open your car without the keys. <laughs> Here, like running on the other side of the phone, and like a, a boot opening up. Do I see people? Ah, uh, Jesus, you guys really need to turn the AC on there. Oh, it's really hot. <laughs> what? Get out of my car! You can't need to be early for school tomorrow. <laughs> what? Ow. Uh, okay. Oh, why? People flop onto the ground. That's are, happening. Are you okay? Do you have something to say? I do. I just need to be early tomorrow. Okay. I, I could just wake up early and pick you up. Oh, you can do that? Yeah. That's oh, that's so nice of you. Thanks. It's a nice card, though. Uh, yeah, it is. It is a nice card. Okay, let me lock this up and let's let's go find Buddy. <laughs> All right. right. Should I leave the shotgun there or? Do, yes. Uh, no. Do? No. Oh, don't take it. <laughs> You're holding the shotgun. Oh God. Oh, no, yes. Yeah, she like wraps it in a blanket and puts it in her boot again. It's not here. Oh, Pico. What? Locks the car. <laughs> <laughs> okay, let's go. Alright. We meet at the club. Alright, Beepo. I take off my hat and put it on him. Hear me out. Remember, remember the girl with the haunted DS? Yeah. She doesn't have a date to the dance. Oh, that's sad. Who else doesn't have a date to the dance? Who knows, right? From what I hear, Heather doesn't right now, but Stanley's trying that. I don't think they wait. like each other. Wait, 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 wait. Stanley's asking Heather to the dance? Yeah, it's a whole thing. I looked at Pixie very confused. I'm just gonna, I'm, I'm, I'm on this table. I'm just gonna like put my hands in my head. I'm just, you know what? That's none of my business. Anyway, people, you don't have a date to the dance. What, what are you talking about? I do. Wait, what? With who? I don't know, some girl. I forgot her name. <laughs> Did you ask her? No, she asked me. When? <laughs> A while back. Okay. I run back to the theater club to find another kid because I feel bad for you already <laughs> asking Anjali. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> you you find someone perfect for Anjali, they go okay. to together. It's all kind of nice and sweet and good. They okay, have a good cool. It's awesome. <laughs> oh god, I'm so glad. Just <laughs> people start. He has a date. Great, perfect. <laughs> All right, now I'm out of ideas. <laughs> All right. Um, with all of that, now everyone <laughs> having <laughs> dates, I suppose. Um, 
I think this feels like a good stopping point for uh, for this session, and then next week we'll probably get into the mystery itself. <laughs> Sounds uh, good. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Good shit. I hope you guys enjoyed. I hope I didn't torture you too much there, Charles. Yeah, it's, it's, uh, it's all good. It's all good. <laughs> then it will get worse next week. <laughs> oh, no. Uh, but yeah, so... And I hope uh, everyone out there listening enjoyed this too. Um, if, if you like what we do, uh, we do have a, uh, a Discord that you could join in with that uh, Elliot just posted. Um, yeah, join in on there. We post memes, we post art, a whole bunch of stuff from uh, the, the campaign. Um, as well as all the other campaigns we do. Uh, if you really like what we do, we also have a Patreon, patreon.com slash horrorcarpy. Um, Supporting us on there is the best way to support us. Uh, you can get some like uh, digital goods at any tier, um, like uh, um, uh, access to all of like the art and stuff like that for use in your home games. And at higher tiers, if you're in the U.S. and Canada, we can ship you some physical goods like uh, um, uh, all of your what you call the spell cards, uh, custom homebrew cards and races. Um, and then we have an Instagram, Instagram.com slash Corona Harpy. Follow that for all of our art, as well as uh, following in for announcements and uh, contests that we post there. Um, Speaking of art. Week, yes, what? Art Fight. If busy, you want to explain. Okay, so Art Fight. I'm just going to like read what Elliot have already posted in our rules and announcements in Haru and Harpy because it's mm -hmm. easy. Uh, for those of you that don't know, Art Fight is an event that happens every July where artists are placed on two opposing themed teams and teams get points by attacking, basically drawing fan, out, fan art of characters belonging to members of the opposite teams. Uh, Elliot has been participating the last few years. Um, this is going to be me and Nemo's first time, I believe, doing this. Yeah. Uh, it's just like a fun little thing that we're going to be doing. Um, there is an Art Fight channel in the Discord if you wanted to join. Um, I'm on Team Wither. I believe Nemo and Elliot are on Team Bloom. Uh, that is what I have for Art Fight. <laughs> yeah, I think that's it. Unless, Ellie, you wanted to team with anything else? Or... Cool. Um, yeah. Um, and in addition, um, yeah, thank you all for uh, for joining us. Uh, let's go with uh, Lyra and uh, Sophie. Where can people find you? Uh, I'm on Instagram, uh, Lyra dot key. Um, that's it. <laughs> mm -hmm. And you can find me uh, at Art Paper on uh, Instagram, TikTok, and Twitch. Hey, we stream yeah. script Leo. <laughs> <laughs> nice. <laughs> Awesome. But yeah, uh, I think that's all we have for this week. So uh, thank you guys, and we'll see you in two weeks. Or I'll see you in one week, actually, for D&Doodles. Um, yeah. yeah. Bye. Bye.